Father, in the name of Jesus, we come at this time. We're favored children because we're the family of faith. We believe you and we know that all your words are yes and amen. And we know because of this session, we're going to command all mountains are moving away in every life in Jesus' name. We dare stand upon your word because we know the word cannot fail and your power cannot fail. And Lord, we're standing right beside the Lord Jesus Christ, the commander and the captain of our faith and the captain of our salvation. Oh Lord, we're praying that this day and this moment, every mountain will move from every life in Jesus' name. Confirm your word in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah chapter 55. And I'm reading from verse 4. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader, and a commander to the people. Here we are told about the Lord Jesus Christ. By the way, Isaiah spoke about Jesus Christ, the Lord. He says, is the one that will be born of the virgin. Isaiah tells us his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah tells us he'll be the one to die for us on the cross. Isaiah tells us he carries our bodies, our shame, our sorrow, our grief away. Isaiah tells us he is our substitute, he is our savior, he is our redeemer. And now the Lord is telling us in Isaiah chapter 55, he says, I'm going to give him to the people and he will be a leader and a commander. And you know that when Jesus Christ came to this earth, that's exactly what he did. In fact, all the people that saw him, they were surprised because what the Pharisees could not do and what the Sadducees could not do and what the religious traditionalists of the day could not do. Jesus came by the word of power by the word of authority, by the word of commanding. He commanded and it was done. He commanded blind eyes, they became open. He commanded the leprosy and the leprosy went away. He commanded evil spirits and they departed. He commanded the stormy sea and the stormy sea became calm. He commanded and it was done because he spoke of the power, the authority, the anointing of the creator God. And it's the same yesterday and today and forever. And this commander is coming to command in your life. I said he will command in your life. And when he makes and gives a command in your life, all those evil things that have been like a mountain, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. Look at Luke chapter 8, verse 25. Luke chapter 8. I'm reading here in verse 25. He still tells us what he does and how he does it. When he heals, he heals with a command. When he delivers, he delivers with a command. When he sets free, he sets free with a command. Luke chapter 8, verse 25. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth and even the winds and the water and they tell me obey him he commandeth the waves and the waters and they obey him that's why this morning we're looking at this message command and let the mountains move command and let the mountains move by the way, why does Jesus give such a command? So that your mountains will move, your sicknesses will be healed, 
and all the mountains before you mountains of problems everything will vanish away number one because of his compassion because of his compassion now when we pray here today and when you open your mouth and you pray and you say as a christian a real child of god i command this mountain to move how does that take place because of our connection 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 with the lord he has compassion he can do it we can do it because we have connection with him and then number three how is it that we're standing here today and by the power of the lord and the authority of his name everything we say is done because i come back again to that word confirmation confirmation in your life there'll be a confirmation this morning in jesus name you are not going to go back the same way you came something is happening already something has happened already and you are the one there is a miracle with your name attached unto it this day in jesus name number three is confirmation number one is compassion Number two is connection. Number three is confirmation. Number one, the compassion of his mountain moving faith. The compassion of his mountain moving faith. You need to understand that when Jesus came to this earth, apart from John the Baptist, that came just a few months before him, for 400 years there was no prophet in the land of israel there's no prophet in the land of judah 400 years there's no prophet a spokesman for god in the whole world no david no daniel no shedak meshach and abednego there was no isaiah there was no body like the prophet old for 400 years and all of a sudden Jesus came and when Jesus came the angels sang with joy because our deliverer has come because our Savior has come because the one that will command with authority because he has come and then he began his ministry a ministry of commanding a ministry of commanding a ministry of commanding and the moment he comes to your life he begins that ministry of commanding in your life is going to do it today in Jesus name the compassion of his mountain moving feet. Look at this, Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, verse 22. But when Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good cheer, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. You are whole this morning in Jesus' name. You are healed and delivered this morning in Jesus' name. And the woman was made whole from that hour. This very hour, this very day, you are made whole in Jesus' name. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrel and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the mage is not dead, the daughter will not die. I said your daughter will not die your son will not die your wife will not die woman cheer up your husband will not die the life of Christ will come to every member of the family they will live in Jesus name and they laughed him to scorn don't mind those people who are laughing because it shall be done but when the people were put forth, he went in and he took her by the hand and the maid arose. And the maid arose. That's his compassion. And he and the fame here thereof went abroad into all the land. And when Jesus departed, there's two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david have mercy on us it's on the basis of his mercy his compassion his love his grace is full of grace and full of mercy 
That's how you are getting it this morning. Your miracle will not miss you in Jesus' name. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came unto him. And Jesus says unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this, they said unto him, Yea, Lord, then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes opened immediately. It's going to happen. I said it's going to happen because it does that in his love and compassion. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. The compassion of his mountain moving faith. The compassion of his mountain moving faith. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. And Jesus went forth and he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion. He was moved with compassion and he healed their sick. Because of the compassion, he just commanded all the commandments of Christ to you this morning. They are coming out of his compassion. And he is saying, I don't want you sick. I have compassion on you. I don't want you tormented. I have compassion on you. I don't want you barren. I have compassion on you. I don't want you to be a failure. I have compassion on you. And because of that compassion, he healed their sick. Your healing has come already in Jesus' name. Chapter 20 of Matthew. Matthew chapter 20. And we're reading from Versace. Matthew chapter 20, Versace. Compassion that commands, the compassion that heals, the compassion that sets free, the compassion that saves. Because of his compassion, his mercy comes unto you. Matthew chapter 20. It says in Versace. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside. When they heard that Jesus passed by, they cried, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them and said what will ye that i should do unto you that's his compassion it's asking you this morning what do you want me to do unto you any challenge your place of work what do you want me to do about it any challenge in your family what do you want me to do unto you any challenge in your personal life what do you want me to do unto you they say unto him lord that our eyes may be opened Anything you ask him this morning is going to grant it to you. I said it's going to grant it unto you. So Jesus had, tell me the word. So Jesus had, tell me the word. So Jesus had, tell me the word. Had compassion on them and touched their eyes and immediately their eyes received sight and they followed him his healing is because of compassion it's not because of what you have done what you have not done what you have said what you have not said where you have gone where you have not gone because of his compassion and what a compassionate christ we have and it's going to manifest that compassion in your life this morning it will set you completely free totally free in jesus name now we're looking at Mark chapter 1 verse 40. Mark chapter 1, we're reading from verse 40. It tells us in verse 40, chapter 1 of Mark, And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Look up here for a moment. Many people, when we read this, will not understand. This man, a leper, came to the Lord Jesus Christ. Since when? What, what time? What year? How many decades ago? How many centuries ago? How many millennia ago? That any leper received a healing, a cleansing. 
You remember the case of Naaman long, long, long ago. And since that time, any other leper came to any prophet, any man of God, any minister, any preacher, any religious man to be cleansed. No, a hundred years have gone, no healing. A thousand years have gone, no healing. Many years before this time, no prophet ever appeared, having the power to heal. Leprosy was an incredible disease. It is like HIV today. It is like AIDS today. That many years, they have not found the cure, but the cure is in the hand of Jesus Christ. HIV will go this morning in Jesus' name. Leprosy will go this morning in Jesus' name. The sicknesses that appear incurable in the world that have not been healed for hundreds of years and thousands of years this morning in the name of Jesus and the power that is in that name of Jesus your healing has come to you this morning in Jesus name and you will see here what Christ did as the Lord Jesus Christ in his power did what has not been done for hundreds of years and the leper did not say I've not read in my history book I've not read in my medical journal that leprosy is incurable but I know whatever Christ says will be done and therefore he came to Jesus and as you come to Jesus this morning welcome, welcome, welcome the impossible will become possible in your life in Jesus name he tells us in verse 41 and Jesus moved with compassion, that's it, that's it and Jesus moved with compassion put forth his hand and touched him and says unto him, I will be thou clean. That's a command, I will be thou clean. And then we are told in verse 42, and as soon as he had spoken that word of command, immediately, 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 the leprosy departed from him and he was cleansed. And he was cleansed. This is your day. And this is your chance. You're going to have the cleansing and the healing and the deliverance in Jesus' name. Number one, number one, the compassion of his mountain moving faith. Number two now, the connection, the connection of our mountain moving faith. The connection of our mountain moving faith. How is it that now we can say in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. How is it that we can say leprosy be cleansed? How is it we can say blind eyes be opened? How is it that we can say layman rise up and walk? How is it that we can say barren people receive your children? Because there is a connection with the Lord. There is a connection with the Lord. And because of the connection we have with the Lord, that is why it happens. It is going to happen. I said it is going to happen. Let me look at the connection between us and Christ. The connection we have with him is compassion that brings the connection. It's the consecration that brings the connection. It's the commitment that brings the connection. It's the commission he has placed in our hand that brings the connection. And because of the connection we have with him, what he did, we do. And the way he did it, that's the way we do it. Look at the connection now in Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13. Here is a connection, connection, connection. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13, for we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones. We are members of his body. We are now the mouth of the Lord. We are now the eyes of the Lord. We are now the ears of the Lord. We are now the hands of the Lord. We are now the feet of the Lord. And what he did, he has now committed into our hands. We are bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. We belong to him as members of his body. That's the connection we have. Look at Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 and has raised us up together and made us to see together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that's a connection when we're saved when we became saved he makes us to see now together in heavenly places with him 
and because of that connection 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 that's why the power now flows through us because we're seated together with him in heavenly places in christ jesus what he said was saved what he did we do how he manifested the power will manifest the power because of that connection unbroken unbreakable connection between us first corinthians chapter 3 verse 9 connection first corinthians chapter 3 we're reading from verse 9 for we are laborers together with god we are god's husbandry ye are god's husbandry ye are god's building we are laborers together with him we're not alone we're not alone his power resides in us his promises are yes and amen in us and then his personality is reflected through us personality the personality of the lord jesus christ the authority of the lord jesus christ reflected in us the connection is what makes us to be able to say today in the name of jesus christ i command you you evil spirit come out it will come out in jesus Jesus name give me a good amen amen there we're looking at Acts of the Apostles Acts of the Apostles chapter 19 Acts of the Apostles chapter 19 and I'm reading here from verse I'm, I'm you, you know when you think about the connection that we have what a wonderful thing because of the connection this morning something great something wonderful will happen in your life in Jesus name we're looking at Acts chapter 19 verse 15 connection and the evil spirit and Saddam said Jesus I know and Paul I know Jesus I know and Paul I know Jesus I know and Paul I know if you are born again he knows you God knows you Jesus knows you the Holy Ghost knows you and even the evil spirits they know you are connected with the Lord Jesus I know and Paul I know that's why you can come as well and you can command in the name of Jesus Christ I command you come out it will come out in Jesus name come back to 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 I'm reading from verse 1 2nd Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 we then as workers together with him we then as workers together with him we then as workers together with him you see when we pray we're working together with him this is what jesus will be doing if he were here and because he's not here he has committed this into our hands we are workers together and laborers together and preachers together and prayer warriors together and we are deliverers together with him is because of that connection then we are able to manifest and walk and move and pray in the name of Jesus with the faith of the Lord Jesus himself in Galatians chapter 2 Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 I am crucified with Christ with Christ connection connection with Christ Christ, were crucified with Christ and it says nevertheless I live I'm crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ liveth in me but Christ liveth in me but Christ liveth in me thank God for the connection this morning Thank God for the connection between a child of God and Jesus Christ. Thank God for the connection between a child of God, one who is born again, a new creature, Christ in you and you in Christ, and your branches on the, on the tree, on the vine. And because the virtue in the tree is also in the branch, it is that connection, the connection of faith that makes you to be able to stand that Jesus would have stood there this morning. And then you say, in the name of Jesus' sickness, I command you come out and it will come out in Jesus name it says I'm crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ liveth in me and then it goes on to tell us it says so the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God I live by the faith of the Son of God 
who loved me and gave himself for me and once i know that he loved me and gave himself for me once i accept that he loved me and gave himself for me once i believe that he loved me and gave himself for me once i live in the knowledge of that he loved me and gave himself for me once i enjoy that privilege he loved me and gave himself for me there's connection and because of that connection i pray in the faith of the son of god I live in the faith of the Son of God. I work in the faith of the Son of God. I minister in the faith of the Son of God. I receive with the faith of the Son of God. It will happen to you this morning in Jesus' name. I said it will happen in Jesus' name. That's the reason why we're coming back now to Job again. Look at Job, Job chapter 22. There's something beautiful in this book of Job. Job chapter 22. We're looking at verse 28. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt also, 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 Jesus did it, thou shalt also, Jesus healed the sick, that shall also. Jesus commanded, that shall also. Jesus raised the dead, that shall also. Jesus quickened the mortal bodies of the people, thou shalt also. Jesus provided for the poor, thou shalt also. Thou shalt also decree a sin, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways there's a connection between you and christ this morning and that connection will bring miracle in your life in jesus name give me a good good amen there now point number three point number one is the compassion of his mountain moving faith number two is the connection of our own mountain moving faith and number three is the confirmation of our mountain moving faith the confirmation of our mountain moving faith the faith we have is a mountain moving faith is one that gets rid of sickness and gets rid of infirmity and gets rid of any sin that is evil all those evil things are getting away from your life in jesus name we're coming back we're coming back to matthew chapter 21 verse 21 matthew chapter 21 and we're reading from verse 21 it tells us in matthew 21 verse 21 jesus answered and said unto them jesus answered and said unto them unto them who unto them disciples unto them who unto them that failed before unto them who unto them that he has called unto himself unto them who unto them that are connected with him not unto them pharisees no not unto them sadducees no not unto them sanhedrin no not unto them nominal people no not unto them traditional people no unto them believers unto them children of god any child of god there this morning I said, any child of God there this morning? Where are you? Any child of God there this morning? He said unto them, he's saying unto you right now. I said, he's saying unto you right now. There's a power that is going to be manifested. Just open your mouth and it is going to be done in Jesus' name. He said unto them, verily, I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, if ye shall say, just like he has said, if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. It shall be done. I don't want you to forget that anywhere you go and anytime you pray just remember it shall be done i said just remember it shall be done i said just remember it shall be done it will be done in jesus name luke chapter 17 verse 6 luke chapter 17 verse 6 and the lord said wonderful if we could just take the word he said Forget what you are saying to yourself. 
forget what your friends are saying unto you forget what your enemies are saying if we could just take what jesus christ has said and what jesus is saying to us today and what jesus said at that time and what he says to every believer today and jesus said in that verse 6 of luke chapter 17 if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed ye might say unto this sycamore tree be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it should obey you it will obey you in jesus name because the lord will grant you will grant me will grant us a confirmation of a mountain moving faith now we come to john now we come to john when last did you read this john chapter 14. when last did you see this look at verse 10 first believest thou not that i am in the father and the father in me don't you know I'm doing what I'm doing because of my connection with the Father. The Father in me and I in the Father. I'm doing everything I'm doing because of the connection I have with the Father. And the same thing, you do everything you do because of connection with Jesus Christ. Thou in me and I in you. If my word abide in you and you abide in me exactly as it was between Jesus and the Father, that's how it is with you. It is a divine connection. Verse 10 again, John chapter 14, verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, connection, connection, he doeth the works. Connection. The Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. And you can say to you, the Christ that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. It's the connection. Now come to verse 12. In verse 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, if that connection is there already, thank God the connection is there. I said, thank God the connection is there. Then it says in that verse 12, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater works, and greater works, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go to the Father. There's a connection this morning, and this connection is going to work mightily in your life in Jesus' name. I want to, I want to remind you, in all that we have read, we have read some very important things. Number one, Jesus said, if you maintain this connection, and if you speak out against this mountain, will you do that? I said, will you do that? If you speak against this mountain, it tells us what happened. Number one, he said, it shall remove. It shall remove. Notice that it shall remove. Number two, he said, it shall be done. It shall be done. Connect that together. It shall remove. It shall be done. It shall remove. It shall be done. And then number three, he said, nothing shall be impossible unto you. Look at all that Jesus is saying. And look at the depth and the earth and the ramifications of everything Jesus is saying. It shall be done. It shall remove. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. And then he said, it should obey you. It should obey you. When you think about all the connection, the combination of all that together, and then he said, I will do it. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. Number six, he said, all things are possible for him who believes. All things are possible to him who believes. And then he also says, it will confirm the word of your mouth. In, in Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16, I'm reading here from verse 20. Mark chapter 16, verse 20, and they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord walking with them. 
and they went forth and preached everywhere. I want you to notice something. It didn't confirm idleness. It doesn't confirm quietness. It doesn't confirm a kind of you know, loitering about. It doesn't confirm lukewarmness. It confirms what we say. They went forth, and if the people of God today will rise up and go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and declare the message of salvation, the gospel that sets people free, free from sin, free from sickness, and free from satanic attack. As we go forth, they went forth, and they preach everywhere. The confirmation comes at the end of the preaching. When you preach the word of God, the gospel, the good news that sets people free, and you're talking about Calvary, you're talking about his death, you're talking about his life, you're talking about his resurrection, you're talking about his ascension, you're talking about the fact that whosoever will let him come unto me, and will declare his word that the message of of salvation is that God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life when we say that to the world to the sick and to the sinners and to the people that need Christ and we're saying that Jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest they went forth and preached everywhere and then he says and the Lord confirming the word he confirmed the word with signs following signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. They are here today in Jesus' name. Are you ready for your sign? I said, are you ready for your sign? I can't see that you are ready. I said, are you ready for your sign? Are you ready for your miracle? Are you ready for your wonders? Are you ready for what God will do? We have come forth and we're preaching the gospel and this is the time now for confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. He confirmed their word, he confirmed their word with signs following. Now you can open your mouth and say it. You can open your mouth and say it. Something is going to happen. You can open your mouth and say it. Something is going to happen. You can open your mouth and say it. Something is going to happen. You can open your mouth and say it. Something is going to happen. A great thing is happening to you this morning. A great miracle is coming your way this morning because there is going to be a confirmation. There is going to be a confirmation. There is going to be a confirmation. There is going to be. There is going to be. There is going to be a confirmation. A confirmation confirmation in your life a confirmation of miracle a confirmation of signs and wonders a, co a confirmation of the supernatural a confirmation of his wonders 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 there's going to be a confirmation it will be done open your mouth and tell the Lord open your mouth and tell the Lord this is the moment of your miracle this is the moment of his power this is the moment of the confirmation of the signs and the wonders in your life you will not go back home as you came because there is a command because there's compassion because there's connection because there's confirmation and then when the compassion joins with the connection and the compassion connection joins with the confirmation an explosion of miracle explosion of miracle explosion of miracle is going to take place in your life open your mouth tell the lord tell the lord tell the lord this is your day this is your day and this is your time because of the confirmation coming your way the confirmation coming your way the confirmation is coming your way it will be done it will be done it will be done it will be done don't stop don't stop don't stop it will be done it will be done don't stop it will be done you cannot go home empty-handed he knows you he loves you that pain you will not carry it back that sickness will not carry it back. That infirmity will not carry it back home because there is a confirmation this morning. There is a miracle this morning. There's, there is an explosion this morning. There is the sign and the wonder this morning. It is now. It is now. It is now. It is now. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. The miracle you need and the miracle you came for is coming your way right now. It's coming your way right now. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be moved. 
confirmation in your life here this morning a confirmation in your life here this morning it is happening already it is happening already it is happening already you are the man with the miracle you are the man with the testimony you are the woman you are the brother you are the sister with the miracle is coming your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus confirmation 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 tell the Lord tell the Lord tell the Lord it's happening tell the Lord it's happening tell the Lord it's happening whatever it is you need whatever it is you came for it is done it is done it is done it is done when you hear this final amen this morning get up and get up in your miracle when you hear the final amen this morning you rise up in the arms of faith you know it is done it is done it is done miracle mountain moving faith because of compassion because of connection because of confirmation because of compassion it does it because of connection it does it and because of confirmation that's why you have a testimony this morning confirmation 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 it is done confirmation it is done confirmation it is done confirmation it is done it is not blind eyes are opening deaf ears are opening dumb tongues are talking and lame legs are receiving strength withered arms are receiving strength and the swelling is going the hunchback is going the mountain is moving the barrenness is moving the job is being given now you are receiving your wife right now you are receiving your husband right now and you are receiving the children right now barrenness is going away right now insanity madness is going away right now miracles are happening there miracles are happening there miracles are happening there a confirmation is going on right now now, the noise in your ears all that thing is vanishing away right now the pain in your body all that is vanishing away right now the dimness of sight all that is vanishing away right now the stormy the stormy head and the hot head all that is vanishing right now and the sin that is beating in your chest inside your stomach all that is going right now there's an ulcer patient being healed right there there's somebody with a, a you know a nurse a disease everything is going away right there now there's somebody there that the scratches and all the itches in your body everything is vanishing away right now there's somebody over there that the smelling in your mouth and the smelling in your body that is uh, disturbing your progress everything is going away right now and the hammer of the devil that is crushing anybody somebody's head all that is being stopped right now the pain the pain that you have inside your eyeball everything is going away right now that that person who has been vomiting and vomiting and vomiting all the vomiting is stopping right now the weakness in your body all that is going right now and the pain the back pain all that is arthritis is going right now miracles have been distributed and there's somebody over there you are barren and God is giving you your children right now there's somebody over there you stepped on something on poison and then the pain your leg has been there and the Lord is taking all that poison away right now miracles have been distributed signs and wonders have been distributed impossible things are becoming possible it's rolling the stones away it's rolling the mountains away something is happening right there something is happening right there there's somebody lying down there the Lord said get up now get up now get up now because now you are healed the power the strength of the Lord is coming your way the power of the Lord is coming your way there's somebody that had a dream last night in the dream you had last night you see it, you saw the Lord and he was giving you the miracle he said the dream is being fulfilled right now receive that miracle now receive that miracle now receive that miracle now because there is a confirmation there is a confirmation everything that you have, the Lord has told you a confirmation is coming right now a confirmation is coming right now it's there it's there it's there just tell the Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus because there is a confirmation of my mountain moving faith even this morning is happening right now 
is happening right now. Heartbroken person, the Lord is healing the wound in your heart right now. The sorrow in your heart, the pain in your heart, the Lord is taking it away right now. That person that you know you are going on the road, urine started coming up to a urinating without any control in the public. The Lord is touching you right now, and actually urinating, everything is vanishing away right now. The power of the Lord is moving right now, and somebody that had a sore over there, and then you had that pause coming out. That sore is being healed right now. It's been healed right now. Somebody had the wound inside your mouth wound inside your mouth and it says the uh, cancerous the lord is touching you right now the cancer of the mouth is being taken away right now miracles 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 are happening right now and the lord is saying claim it right now accept it right now there is a confirmation in your life a confirmation a confirmation a confirmation in your life right now lord i believe lord i receive lord i believe lord i receive lord i believe lord i receive a confirmation a confirmation a confirmation in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray this morning is a special morning this day is a special day and there's a confirmation going to take place in your life right now in jesus name that mountain that had been there for a long time look at it right now for the last time you'll not see that mountain anymore that big problem heavy problem weighing you down until until this time these egyptians you see today you will see them never more in jesus name you've been you know going up and down looking for solution looking for solution the solution has now come i said the solution has now come now when you hear the final amen there's confirmation there's no doubt about this morning about that this morning a confirmation when you hear the final amen after the prayer check it up all that thing will be gone i said all that thing will be gone why don't you raise up your hand raise up your hand the miracle is coming because of his compassion the miracle is coming because of the connection the miracle is coming because of the confirmation father in the name of jesus we bless your name we glorify we thank you this morning because you have given us the promise that cannot fail we thank you this morning because the power that cannot fail is right here oh lord i'm asking right now you send forth your word you heal the people let the healing take place right now in jesus name Lord, I pray for all those people that have any demonic affliction in the head and demonic affliction in the mind and all that depression. I command you, depressing spirit, I command you, demonic spirit, and I command you, all spirit that brings all this kind of suicide uh, uh, tendency, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, that person that in a natural way, you pick up something on the ground and then you are just eating it and eating it. I don't know that that thing is evil. I command that evil spirit that came on Nebuchadnezzar coming upon this fellow. I command, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, they say that this one HIV incurable, AIDS incurable, tuberculosis incurable, cancer incurable, any incurable disease right there. Now by the power of the Lord, that cancer, I command you, dry up in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, go out in Jesus' name. HIV, AIDS, come out in Jesus' name. I'm asking right now, Lord, there will be a confirmation that leprosy over there, the leprosy and the skin disease that have been there for a long time, I come against you right now. I issue for the word of command, and I command right now, be clean and be healed in Jesus' name. I pray that the swelling in your body, the swelling in your body right there, touch it, touch it, touch it right now. I'm asking, Lord, this, uh, this swelling will melt away. This wedding will melt away. This wedding will melt away. Come out in Jesus' name. The pile in your anus there, I pray, miracle on your anus there, and that pile be removed in Jesus' name. And there be removed in Jesus' name. Elephantiasis in the leg, elephantiasis in the hand. I command the swelling on your hand, the swelling in your leg, be healed in Jesus' name. The water had a big head, the water stored inside there. I pray that that water will drain out right now. 
be healed in Jesus name the cancer that is coming to the eyeballs right there and then is becoming bigger and bigger I command those uh, cancer germs to die from their eyes and I pray there will be a perfect healing in the eyes of that person in Jesus name the cancer of the mouth, the ulcer of the mouth, and the sore in the mouth. I command right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm asking that the deafness in the ears of that individual, all that deafness, you deaf spirit, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. And the dumbness to you, I command that dumbness, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, those blind eyes, touch them now. Those blind eyes touch them now. Those blind eyes touch them now. And I command those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, those who have withered hands, one hand shorter than the other, one leg shorter than the other. I speak the word of power, the word of authority, and the word of anointing. I speak that in case that short leg grow out in Jesus' name. I pray that life will come to that way that hand. Life will come to that way that leg. And I pray that miracle, miracle will take place in everyone right now in Jesus' name. And those who are barren, I cancel your barrenness. I cancel your barrenness. I cancel your barrenness. Receive your miracle children in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, whatever your people have asked you because of your compassion, because of the connection, and because of the confirmation, grant them the signs and wonders now. Grant them the miracles now. Oh Lord, at the final amen and explosion of miracles. At the final amen and explosion of miracles. The final amen, the multiplicity of miracles. Miracles everywhere, on the right, on the left, at the center, outside, there, everywhere, anywhere. Miracles everywhere, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have done it. We know you have done it. We know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say,